What is going on, everyone? I'm Hunter Doyle here from Philly Insider Podcast. Rocking the pit jersey because Avante Maddox is back this upcoming week against the Giants. He will play tomorrow in MetLife Stadium, and I'm excited for it. Look, I think you look at the past couple weeks. First off, let's give Josiah Scott a little bit of credit. I do think he made some plays here and there that were pretty important, and I think he made more plays than he was given credit for. But I also think this move allows him to move back to special teams where he shines. And I, I, I am glad he got the experience at slot just so that, you know, if something happens again where we need him, he's ready to go. Um, but at the same time, a lot of the mistakes he made were very glaring. And teams were manipulating alignments and, and using motion in order to get him in one-on-one -on -one situations, especially when we were in man coverage or man match coverages. They did everything they could to get him matched up one-on-one -on -one with their best guy. Or even they, they just targeted their, their matchups with their slot guys. So... You had Randall Cobb a couple weeks ago had that skinny post or slant that he scored a touchdown on on Josiah Scott against. And the inbreaker seemed to really be an issue for him. Um, you had another crossing route. I believe Josiah Scott was in coverage on a crossing route that Paris Campbell took to like the five-yard line or something like that. Um, it was a pretty big play in that game. Thankfully, we still went, were able to go down the field and win the game the next drive. But yeah, I, there was a number of issues like that. There were a number of times where the Colts tried to get Michael Pittman lined up on him and just get those yards after catch with the slant routes because he beat him off the line. There was a number of times where Traylon Burks was matched up against him, and you saw that touchdown. Epps made a made an effort to get over there. Um, unfortunately, Burks got hurt. Hopefully, he's okay. But, you know, you had that play where they got Josiah Scott matched up one-on-one -on -one with him, and they, they got Epps to the other side of the the field so that they could target him one-on-one, -on -one and they knew Epps would be a split second late. Tannehill moved him with his eyes. So there was a number of ways in which Josiah Scott was – targeted because they knew he was the the one weak link to uh, exploit and I mean again like I think Josiah Scott did make some plays here and there but I just think getting Maddox back a guy who's experienced a guy who's experienced in this scheme um, and just you know obviously a better player to play in the slot I think that's huge for this football team look Maddox has been so key for us if you talk, if you listen to our channel uh, specifically about the slot corner position we've talked about that slot corner position week after week after week since Maddox has gone down and the matchups that they could, other teams could exploit there. And we've also talked a number of times, even like going back to 2020, about how Maddox needed to be in the slot. And I'm sure we all kind of shared that that point. Now he is back in the slot. It's just been, it's been incredibly better since then, since last year when he got put back there, um, since we've got other guys to play on the outside. And yeah, I mean, look, he's a guy who, he knows coverage rules. He recognizes route concepts and knows when to pass off routes when he needs to. He can play well in the run game if he needs to. Probably not the best option there in terms of like slot corner defending the run, but you know he does his job for the most part, and he can get in the backfield. And you know when when the run is spilled to the outside, he's ready to make plays. So just a guy who's very mentally aware, I think, and a guy who can match up one on one if he needs to in the slot. And I think that's really important. Look, you have Richie James. I know a lot of people won't really talk about him very much. He's more of a compliment in that Giants offense, but. A guy in the slot who I, I probably would have given him a slight advantage over Josiah Scott. And then you have, you know, obviously coming up in a couple of weeks, you got that Christmas Eve game against the Cowboys. And look at how many look at how many times CD Blam is moving around the formation every single play. Um, that's definitely a matchup they would have looked to exploit. So this helps us tremendously in that aspect. And you're gonna get Goddard back healthy too. You're getting healthier. Jordan Davis is back now. He he had a week with limited reps, and now he's probably gonna get back to full reps sooner rather than later. So we're getting healthy at the right time. I think this is huge for this Eagles football team. Probably more important than a lot of people realize. So yeah, shout out Drew Johnson. We've been talking a lot about this slot matchup throughout the past couple of weeks with him in the comments, and uh, you know he's he's shared the same th same thoughts on it. And I'm really glad Maddox is back tomorrow. And big game in New York that we gotta get gotta get the dub for. So. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it. Run, booby, run, flag, goes fly. God bless you all, and peace out.